Coming out the car. Who that coming out the car? You ain't got on no damn clothes. What up, cuz? So I'm here finally in Florida, and first place my cousin take me to is to the grocery store. Dead ass. The grocery store is Mavic, like flipping huge. Like it smells different than our grocery stores back in New York. So I'm about to show you guys right now. It's freaking huge. Look, we're on aisle 14. Mm -hmm. I'm so sure how grand a grocery store is. Let's go to the wine section. Because you know, I love my alcohol. Look at this huge hike. So oh, they have like a legit wine section. Like, and this is not like a specialty grocery store. Like, it's just a regular grocery store. Look at this. Still in the wine section. Still in the wine section. Like, oh, you think it's coming to an end? Nope. Oh, more wine. And more wine. And more wine. Yeah. Good morning, people. So it is day number five in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm slowly getting used to it. The one thing that I will say that is really different is the noise level. Like, I'm so used to hearing fire trucks and hearing, you know, people outside, hearing music, whatever. Out here, it is like dead quiet. Like, I live in a suburb, so there's a lot of houses out here. But people are in their house by 8 o'clock. Like, you don't hear nothing out here. So, it's taking me a little longer to fall asleep. But I'm waking up super early in the morning. Like, right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I never wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning unless I got to go to work. And I'm still, like, dragging myself out of bed if I have to do that. So, that's the one thing um, that I would say. Last night, though, me and my cousin went to a club. It was so popping. Not really a club, it was like a little lounge, and they had this band uh, that was there. They had live music or whatever. So it was really, 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 really cool. <laughs> right now uh i'm up about to get some breakfast uh one good thing is i've been on the road a lot like we've been here there everywhere um but i've been missing my show so i'm going to an event tonight called rep your brand with dj envy i'm excited about it. i'm doing press for so right now um i'm sending out a couple of emails um i'm gonna work on this blog stuff you know what i'm saying get some more uh footage for that uh, I need to really watch my project one way. I miss that. And then after that, I'm going to get up, get ready, and go to rep your brand tonight. I don't really know what it is. It's the third annual one. But it's like all of these local artists and these local uh, businesses like hair and makeup and all of that who are going to come out. And this is like big show. And DJ MV is hosting it. So I'm working a red carpet. Hopefully I get to interview DJ MV. Fingers crossed. And we'll see how that goes. So, with that being said, uh, good morning. Oh, yeah. Before I go away, I already found this dope barber. So, you know, I couldn't be going to no event and not looking, like, decent. So, I found this new barber, Jeff, and he hooked me up. Crazy thing is, right, I'm still having to learn their prices down here because everything is, like, super freaking cheap so like my haircut usually is like $25 plus tip or whatever it's like $30 every other week because I wasn't doing it every week I went to him my cousin recommended him and I got my haircut or whatever and 
when he asked for like how much it was, like to pay, I said, oh, how much is it? And he was just like, oh, ten dollars. I was like, ten dollars. Oh, here go ten dollars. Here go a couple of dollars for a tip. I was super hyped. So this is my hero card. I really, really like it. Um, and so I'm all prepared for tonight. So next time you will see me, I'll be at uh, Rump Your Brand, and hopefully I can interview. Uh, DJ Envy, that would be awesome for my portfolio. So, yeah. All right, so we're on our way to rep your brand, me, the hairstylist, Sherry. And um, what are you expecting from this? Um, just to network with the city and talk with a lot of good people and see what's going on, so we can, you know, just get to the next level. As far as, um, you know, I think it's time to get some PR work done. You know, mm. not just going in a circle, but we need to start, you know, going up. So I'm going to look for PR representatives mm, for okay. um, Purple Locks and Raining Aloe Natural Hair Butters. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Get all that so your hair can lay down flat and don't have no flakes and none of that bad shit. Yeah, that. Yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, definitely talked to my mentor today and got like a little bit of encouragement from him to not be scared and go and mingle and talk and all that other stuff because it's weird as much as I am outspoken when I get around like my job or what I have to do or have to like talk to celebrities I get super nervous and super scared as to what to say to introduce myself and I don't like to brag or anything like that so we shall see so next up you'll be seeing us go inside this place and hopefully we get some good feedback from it all the backstage radio host yeah. craziness that's going on. I'm backstage in the Rookie Brand event. Yes. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and yes. See, she came up pretty good, right? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. So yeah, we here. The show is just about to start. We're backstage getting everything together. What up, y'all? You see the media pass? Yep, that means I'm behind the stage for the Rep Your Brand event with all the models, the makeup artists, the designers, and everyone, including DJ Envy from The Breakfast Club. Yep, I'm going to be interviewing him in a couple of minutes. Cannot wait, so stay tuned for all the behind the stage footage. And of course, me, your girl, Jessie Ray. Uh, everything you're doing in the DJ world, congratulations. I was at the um, the Global Spin Awards. Oh, you won uh, the award last year, so congratulations. Thank you. What is it about your brand that makes it as big as it is? What are the three most important things about your brand that you put forward to make it continue to grow? I think it's hustle, hard work, and God. Those are the three things, you know? I will mm -hmm. hustle your competition, work hard, and, and stay prayed up. Those are the three things that, that keep me going the way I need to be. Okay. Is there any advice that you got when you first got into the game that really propelled you to really focus and really set you on your path to where no, you are I didn't, now? No, I didn't get any advice. I, I didn't really have any mentors when I came in the game. Clue was somebody who, he was the reason I wanted to DJ. But, I mean, for me, it was just, you know, I just wanted to be better than anybody out, out there. I was very competitive. Okay. No matter what it is. I mean, if, if you think you could run fast, I will race you to the door right now. Mm -hmm. That's just, how, just who I am. You know I mean, I just want to be better than anybody out there. And if I'm not, I'm going to keep practicing till I am. Is there anyone that you aspire, that you watch how they've grown, whether it's in music or in any form of field that you kind of set your path behind and see how they work? I mean, I think it was Clue. I mean, mm -hmm. Clue was, was, was definitely somebody I looked up to. He lived on the same block as me. We actually lived on the street from each other. And I was able to see his growth from, you know, him starting off as a mixtape DJ to doing albums with uh, Rockefeller to, you know, doing radio. So I think that was my inspiration when it came to music. As far as um, investments and things like that, I, you know, I just kind of, I just watch all types of people. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just people who invest things, whether it's something small or something big. I just love flipping money and make money work for me. I think growing up as a kid, you know, my parents worked hard and, you know, they worked for 30 years and then retired, you know. But I, I want to be in a, in a position where my kids don't have to work unless they want to or have to. You know what I mean? If they could take over the family business and 
continue what they're doing. That's great. You know, a lot of people do it, so why can't mine? Yeah. The Maldives watching uh, the finals. And I was like, one day I'm going to watch the finals of the basketball game. Yeah, that was fun. It was, it was different because the finals came on in the Maldives like 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Five in the morning, so me and my son, we got up like five in the morning to watch the finals. It was pretty dope. Yeah, no, I watched it like three times. I was like, yeah, that's super that's dope. Super that was dope. fun, man. That was fun. Hope I'm going to go somewhere special. I mean, every year, you know what? I, I'll be honest. I haven't, for years, I've never went on vacation. Mm -hmm. And the reason was, is I always was working. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I was always putting that groundwork in. So now that, that I have a little time where I can take a vacation, mm -hmm. you know, I try to go to places that, you know, I can't pronounce. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I didn't know what the Maldives was or how to pronounce it or what it was about, so I was able to go there next year. We're planning on something big, too. And take the whole family, man. We just have fun, man, and just enjoy life, you know? Yeah, it looks Can't good. take it with you when you leave, so might as well enjoy it. Very, very true. Now, I saw that the Breakfast Club, you had um, more than one interview with Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. and I had made a point to show that you know, radio is now becoming more than just radio. It's affecting everything, especially hip hop and urban. Right. When you first started out with the Breakfast Club, did you see it propelling this far? And where do you see the Breakfast Club going in the next couple of years? I mean, I didn't see it propelling this far. I mean, I was just happy to be, you know, in New York doing radio mm -hmm. with some people I respected and, and shooting the shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Now, I, I didn't expect it that you know, where we had presidential candidates coming on the show. You mm -hmm. know. I'm really upset that we weren't able to get her in the White House, mm -hmm. um, but I think you know, just the fact that we were able, we were able to, that she realized that the Breakfast Club was important to the culture, yeah. and she had to come by, you know, and not just her, whether it's, uh, it's the Minister Louis Farrakhan or it's uh, Jay Z or you know, it, we have so many different people from so many different worlds, from Dr. Oz, and that and that's big. That, that's telling that you know. Back in the day, I would never see these type of individuals on these type of urban shows. You know, mm -hmm. it was pretty much just rappers and R&B singers. Mm -hmm. But I mean, now when you have people like Dr. Oz and, and, and you know the minister and, and preachers and you know uh, district attorneys and you know artists, it, it's it's really really dope. I mean, we go from a spectrum from having Maxwell to mm -hmm. J Lo to Jay Z to Twenty One Savage. You know. Mm -hmm. That, that, that program is dope because you, you, you get a broad experience of, of the culture. Are you ever surprised by who wants to come on your show? Um, no. Nah. No, nah, I mean, you know, I'm a fan of pretty much everybody, you know, so it's sometimes it's not even the questions that we sit out to ask, it's just the conversation that we have, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You know, we just might have a conversation with Hillary and we just talk about some of the things that she likes, you know, mm -hmm. besides the politics, you know, I didn't know that, you know, when Hillary Clinton and Bill got married, he went back and bought the house that they first started talking to in front of. Stuff like yeah, that is just cool. dope stuff that you would yeah. never hear out, and that's just from having a great conversation, you know? Okay. So my last question, we're mm -hmm. here at Rep Your Brand, and everybody's big on Instagram with Go Back Thursday. Is there a brand that you were into or that you wore back in the day that you would cringe if the picture came out on a TV scene? Now, you know what? One thing about me is, is I think once you realize in life that Everything happens for a reason. Nothing ever cringes. Man, I didn't see pictures of myself wearing Carl Kanai and pictures wearing uh, cross colors. Mm -hmm. I didn't see pictures of, of, of my mom with the uh, had me with the, the West Indian Jamaican <laughs> tank top with all the holes in it that my yes. mom used to wear. You know, mm -hmm. from Queens. So I, 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 I pictures of my mom having me in Poom Poom shorts back in the day. <laughs> I don't know if my mom wanted a girl or something, but you know, they had me in some crazy outfits. But you know, it, nothing bothers me. I mean, I, I'm secure myself. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I'm married with five kids. I mean, I, I do the stupidest things for my kids. So mm -hmm. if I thought I would look crazy back then, you should see some of the stuff my kids got me doing now. You know, I really don't care. I mean, I put on a ballerina outfit if my daughter asks me to. You know what I mean? Whatever, just whatever I got to do to see her smile, I do. I don't care about none of that other stuff. That's dope. Thank you so much. And Thank my you. last question for you is, where do you see your brain going in the next five years? Um. You know, I don't know. I got a lot of things on the table. You know, of course, me and my wife started a podcast. Yes. And uh, it's about relationships, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly parts of it. We've been together over 20 years, married 15, and, you know, we, we've been through shit, you know, like any other relationship. We've been through ups, downs, jealousy, you name it. We have been through it. You know I mean, there's nothing that we haven't been through, you know what I mean? And we were able to, you know, survive it. So it's like, you know, we got a lot of uh, great feedback from that. A lot of people wanted us to do a lot of great things. So. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the Breakfast Club, of course, the podcast, the music, I'm doing an album. So it's just so many things on the table. Like, I, I need more time of the day to do some of this. I need, like, a clone. So, that, I mean, I might, I might try to find maybe a doctor that can clone me or something. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I just need more time. All right, cool. Thank you so much again Thank for you. speaking with me. And uh, congratulations on everything. Thank you very much. Appreciate no problem. It. Thank you.
So, I just got finished interviewing DJ Envy. Hey, right, Britt? Here we go. Here we go. I'm super hyped that I got to interview him. That is like a big one in my portfolio. Y'all don't even understand. And he was super nice and super accommodating. And it was crazy because me and her, me and this one, was stalking him all day. For that interview, gotta get it done, gotta get it done. And eventually, supposedly we were supposed to do it downstairs, but we didn't have a backdrop, and we was just like, yo, we just rather talk to him in his dressing room, it'd be more comfortable there. And it wound up working out, and we got a longer interview than anybody else had to sit and talk to him. So, super excited, and yeah. Good morning, people. Y'all don't even understand how many times I've tried to angle this camera so that I can look halfway decent in the morning. I am like, Pale as no other. I have to go in the sun today. But anyway, just uh, waking up, still hype over me and uh, DJ Envy and getting my interview with him. And now I'm about to get up and go eat breakfast and put some bronzer on and start my day. But before I go, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like it. Make sure you share it with all of your friends, family. And anybody else and most importantly make sure you click the subscribe button below thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next vlog Peace.